Penn State wrestling. It's NCAA champs or bust with the Nittany Lions. It seems harsh. When you win eight of the last nine championships, second best is not good enough. PSU scores big with four individual champions. They finish second overall to conference rival Iowa. The good news, the Lions are one of the youngest teams in the country, so they expect to return to their spot on top of the sport next season. In football, the Lions expect a quick bounce back to national prominence after a subpar 2020 season. One of the many reasons they struggled was the lack of a spring practice. More new coaches on the staff, including offensive coordinator Mike Yersich. So all 15 spring workouts are extremely valuable. And Coach Franklin understands the importance of making up for lost time. We're definitely approaching it that way. Uh, same thing with camp. You know, you know, we're going to have to look, take a similar approach when we get to summer camp because we, you know, we did not have a traditional summer camp last year as well. Um, so yeah, we're, we're approaching it, um, you know, as if this is a tremendous opportunity to, to build our team from the ground up. 15 practices for the spring. No traditional blue-white game, but the team will scrimmage at Beaver Stadium in front of the university's first-year students. It wasn't that long ago that Penn State was talking about the Lawn Boys, which is what the bevy of Nittany Line running backs called themselves. Then we have one transfer, another medically retire. Stack on top of that, injuries in this offseason. Penn State and their running backs coach, Jaywan Siders, are in search of answers. Devin Ford, Kevon Lee, Keziah Holmes, and a transfer in in John LeVette are all finding their fit in the depth chart. And Siders says that they are hopeful to get Noah Kane back from injury towards the end of this spring. He's diligent into the playbook and every meeting. You know, what I love about him is he's starting to come out of his shell and being a leader in the room. You know, he's, he's such an athlete with his personality when he speaks and the guys responding to him. I think he kind of really welcomed John in the room. And that was kind of gave John a little freedom to kind of blend in with the guys. Sider also added that having been an assistant coach at West Virginia, he's quite familiar with Mike Yurcich's offensive style. This Thursday will also be Penn State's Pro Day on campus. Pat Fryermuth, Will Fries, Michael Mennett, Shaka Tony, Jason Oway, and of course, Harrisburg's own Micah Parsons are just some that will be taking part. The NFL scouting combine has been folded into these team pro days, so there's even a bigger emphasis this year. And Purdue's basketball season came to a surprising end against North Texas in the first round. If there's a silver lining, it's that new Penn State men's basketball coach Micah Shrewsbury can get to work sooner as he has arrived on campus this afternoon and even got to tour the Bryce Jordan Center with his family.